Jedi, working as a consultant uh, in Art Park. Uh, today we are glad with uh, glad to have with us uh, Anandi Giridharan, who is a principal research scientist at the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering. So, ma'am, ma I would request you to tell us something more about yourself. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Purnima. I am Anandi Giridharan, working in EC department as principal research scientist. And uh, I am there with the Institute from past uh, 32 years. And uh, I am also uh, serving as a branch counselor, IEEE IASC student branch. I am also uh, chairing IEEE site. It's a special uh, interest group for humanitarian technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the, on the occasion of International Women's Day, uh, I would like to ask you some questions. So let me get started. So uh, I would like to know what does freedom mean to you? Yeah. According to me, freedom is the ability to share our ideas, express more mm. ideas and share and also gain knowledge from others and empower uh, individuals around us. So uh, the sharing and expressing ideas is especially important. It is worth uh, based on the humanity exploration and also the well-being of the uh, real-time problem challenges faced by the human and uh, bringing out uh, research sustainable solutions to them. And I would like to connect uh, freedom with knowledge, sharing and also gaining because it's a self-assessment uh, uh, tool which helps us to uh, have a personal growth as well as uh, take decisions. And uh, also, and it's where it's, uh, it gives us power to visualize many things from multiple uh, perspectives. Freedom is uh, not a privilege to do whatever we want, but uh, we have to realize that we should take the responsibility to see that uh, the, we have to leverage the other people's uh, experience to that. Uh, yeah. That's nice. So basically you believe that like knowledge, knowledge and freedom are very closely Correct. related. So I'm sure education is one of the, uh, you know, one of the means to gain knowledge and so closely related to that, like what is your motivation to pursue your education or your life in science? Like each one of us, our parents are the main mentors and they teach, uh, like you know, from the beginning, the approach they take to bring raise us as an individual. So for me, uh, the interest in uh, science started uh, like from our parents who taught uh, totally the science, basic science from as a child. and. Uh, also, I had uh, lots of inspiration for uh, Swami Vivekananda and his teachings and his vision towards uh, research and also uh, the institute and it was my dream and I would like to uh, thank all my uh, teachers and parents for motivating me and also inspiring me and uh, also all the people uh, who still uh, each and every day motivate me by doing research work in different fields of scientific field. Uh, so also uh, we know that yeah, education is every person's right and even a girl, every uh, whether it's a girl or a boy, but there's this concept of gender bias which has been prevalent in the society. So have you ever faced this gender bias in your work or education or ha how have you tackled it? Yeah, like, uh, like based on the understanding that is going on around us, like uh, Everyone might have faced bias in some way or the other in some part of life. And uh, yeah, gender bias, yes, that does exist. And I too have faced uh, bias in some point in life or the other. But there are people who come forward to support us. And uh, always I uh, li like to suggest to all the individuals that we should always seek for the uh, support forum or some mentor uh, to guide you so that they'll be able to suppose if you have a uh, like you know rough time going on in your life um, that will be like you know and you feel that it's going to impact your thought process so immediately you can that is the time you can uh, seek the help of these people and the forum so that at least they won't be able to give a solution but they will be able to help you out to come out of this uh, uh, so, like situations and help you to enable you to think some solutions and convert that situation as a challenge that will be very helpful. So I uh, suggest to the individuals that you are not alone 
so uh, many people are there around you who come forward to help that's really nice so we we require a support system you know to go ahead in life yeah. so related to this like uh, nowadays uh, yeah everyone are uh, you know they take work life work life balance as a challenge like they yeah. are not able to balance their work and like uh, or like maybe a health or family so how how do you think like how can a woman especially how can she balance her career and life so what is your opinion on that yeah based on the learning from my experience i feel uh, we cannot get a perfect balance or the pre- perfect planning whatever we have structured but for that it doesn't mean that we should stop planning for that and uh, create a, a perfect balance so uh, we ha- i feel we have to create a system uh, interrelational things where we have uh, lots of human factors in that we should uh, uh, something like trust uh, then uh, Uh, respect for each other then acknowledging each other and uh, give uh, value to each other and all these factors uh, are involved in this and also the thing is um, uh, we have to respect each other and more than that we have to uh, like train ourselves in such a way to make us believe that we are capable and uh, and also we should understand the, our capacity and uh, the ability to change the situation Uh, and also the challenges that we are going to and handle it in a better way so i um, see uh, like you know after uh, joining institute i took up uh, like you know the continued with my education even after marriage with two kids okay. so i would like to thank my family as my husband and my children for this for supporting me and motivating me and uh, also i would uh, give some suggestions to Uh, not only women but also to other people who are involved in our personal as well as a professional life that we should respect each other and also acknowledge i think that will might improve the balancing yeah, yeah that is really a great advice yeah. <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for yeah. your patience thank you thank you ma'am thank you